good evening I've just learned there's a new update for the Odyssey G9 which should fix the 240 Hertz for the 3000 series Nvidia so let's see so in the at the normal side the Dutch side uh, for the Odyssey the update isn't there as you can see uh, update file 1006.2 but on Reddit I found that this file should be there and you download this file g95t firmware.exe it looks kind of sketchy but it's from samsung.com so I chose to trust it even though it's telling me not to I'm gonna extract it anyway and there it is so that's my update file now I already put a USB drive in the back of my monitor I don't know if I did it in the right slot but we will see about that so that's it so I downloaded the file I put it on the USB and well let's see what happens uh, let me close these windows for a moment yes uh, well, let's see uh, support update searching update files let's see if I put it in the right one nope doesn't look like it hold on So it took some time, but it's in. I put it in the outer one, and that should be the right one. So let's see. Yeah, there it is. So do you want to update? Yes, I do. So let's see what happens. not the fastest <laughs> oh, I do remember I shoot power cycle let me check user manual user manual sport your project will turn itself off and on again uh, I got it right here so connect USB to the first to the outer USB in the monitor uh, so support software update like I did it's updating right now uh, your project will turn itself off and on again automatically after complete and then turn off your project and that should be it so it's failed don't know why um, now I do have a help right here and don't look at the mess so uh, let's see what cable should be I believe this cable should be the Nvidia cable uh, sometimes it helps to disconnect your cable to your computer so it can update because my computer wants to take control of the USB well, Nvidia, uh, sorry, Nvidia, uh, Samsung has control of the USB, and my PC wants it, so that might be an issue sometimes with updating. So let's try it again like this. Uh, what I was telling, when the update completes, the screen will black out, 
it will turn on again and at that point I should remove the power cord and uh, put it back in so you need to power cycle it yourself as well let's see uh, let's Now it's also saying that if an update uh, doesn't go through, um, it will return to the previous version when it's interrupted. Whether it's because you power cycle it or you lose your power while updating or whatever, it will default to the previous version. So this is looking good so far. I'm curious if it will fix everything. So, let's see if it works. 100% and my screen goes black like it should and it's back uh, let's see if I need to power cycle it myself let's wait a moment it was blinking blue here uh, let's see if I can see what version I'm on right now so information my version is 108.1 and well I'm just gonna power cycle it to be sure uh, it's right over here. Well, it's off. And I turn it on again. There it goes. So, disconnecting the USB actually uh, made me able to update. Now, I also like to perform a reset all uh, to make sure it's good basically. Uh, the USB. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep the USB in for now because the USB. So I just closed the back of my screen. Uh, I don't use that USB stick, so I'm just gonna keep it in the back of the screen. So if I need another update, I don't need to put the USB in it again. So this was reset. 240 Hertz Let's see what happens. Wow. All right. It works great. It's we are back in business guys So we turn off adapt to sync Then we go to the settings then we put response time to fastest low input lag on screen size well what? As you can see it's doing strange things. It's because the adaptive sync is off. Um, let's hold up screen size. Well, none of these is right. So, auto. Fine. Uh, adaptive sync on. And he can only do adaptive sync on the full resolution. So. I'm back at, in business and now what I like is picture mode I choose RTS and then I go to the black equalizer I put it on 10 and system core lightning goes on even though you don't see it rainbow at HDR off. All right. So this is what I do with my screen. Uh, it's obviously personal preference. I like it this way. But I can tell you, it's working on 230 hertz right now. Let's see what Nvidia says. Sorry, it's in in Dutch, but I think I can translate. So over here, you can see it's at the right resolution at 
240 hertz. I need to change it. Uh, let's go. Yes, now here it's telling me 8 bit. Um, let's see if I can change that somewhere. No, uh, no scaling. G Sync. Well, I'm gonna put G Sync on because I want to know if it's still flickering. Uh, you can see that results in uh, future uh, future videos I make. I will tell you if it's flickering with G-Sync on or not. Because Adaptive Sync should be enough and you should not have to enable G-Sync in here. But if it's possible, it's possible. Um, I'm just gonna manually change this because you want this on, T, on 10. And the rest is good. So you just get a higher, uh, higher color depth dynamic. It's good. Um, yeah. Well, this is it for now. I just want to check because it's been a while and we have an update right now. So just put HDR back on and let's go to Windows HDR. I really dislike Windows HDR so far because it's simply too dark, but maybe it fixed something with this update as well. Uh, let's see, HDR, use HDR. Uh, nope, I still think it's too dark. I don't like this at all. So, disable. Yeah, disable. And I'm gonna turn HDR off here again. Alright. So, no HDR for me. I simply don't like it. Uh, in Windows. In game, obviously, it's, it's awesome. Well, um, this is the video. So, I've updated the screen. I've updated my monitor and after that I went to the settings and 230Hz is working on 10-bit and well I turn on G-Sync and in the future games you will see if it's flickering or not. Thank you for watching and see you next time.